Secret societies have been something we have looked into a few times here on the channel. From the worst kept secret group of all, the Illuminati, to other hidden hands in history. I guess like Fight Club, the first thing these groups should teach their members is not to talk about it. One that has been successful, to a point, or I wouldn't be making this video, is the Black Dragon Society or Kokuru Kai. This group born out of Japanese nationalism from World War II has over the years ingrained itself in all crucial points of the modern financial, commercial and political world. Hidden and powerful, they influence the world in secret. Welcome to IF, videos on mystery and history. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to never miss a video again. So who is this group who manipulates mankind? They arose from the Japanese plans to conquer Asia during World War II. They were a bunch of secretive and criminal men and women who made their way across China and the rest of Southeast Asia, corrupting, bribing and influencing anyone they could sink their claws into. This with the goal of weakening countries, taking control of economies and infrastructures before the Japanese army could roll in with tanks and bombs. This group was vicious and renowned for its violence, this to the point that other saboteur and spy networks working with the Japanese nationalists really wanted nothing to do with them. The end of the war arrived and as history tells, the Japanese were on the losing side. This caused embarrassment to the nation and they wished to distance themselves from the actions of the war. As such, the groups that were involved in clandestine operations were denied recognition and were left to their own ends, this leaving 10,000 black dragons looking for something to do. The remaining black dragons did the only thing they knew, disappearing into the shadows. At the same time, they protected the assets and fortunes of the Japanese merchants from the allied forces looking for war reparations. This put them in a position of great power and they used this influence and huge sums of wealth to coerce people and groups, this time to their own ends and not for the goal of a Japanese emperor. The term black dragon started to fade and change, meaning in the years after the end of the war, instead of a fascistic wing of a country looking to build an empire, it began to mean someone shady, a criminal or someone who had loose morals. Was this by design, creating a mythical image of the black dragon for the real group to hide behind? Today the black dragons have become more subtle than their violent past, they focus their resources and efforts on geopolitical ambitions. Their current goals include tasks such as the expulsion of communist influence in China, Korea and elsewhere in Asia continuation to conceal duplicity from the green men, maintaining a cooperative facade. Condition and unify world opinion through the adoption of Eastern culture, business models, martial arts, religion and philosophy. Ultimately, they want to usher in a new age of the Zanchan Empire. This long term goal requires the survival of the order of the black dragon for thousands of years making them very cautious. For them to ensure that they keep moving forward with these goals, the group does ally itself with other organizations. The question then becomes, do they use their old skills to co-op and take control of these groups? Could they be the hidden hand behind the hidden hand? They may well be the masters of the hidden societies that we have come to know, maybe this is why we do know of them, the uncovering of these groups vastly diminishing their power and influence. The black dragon's agent provocateurs using the theology, psychology and hypnosis skills that they have been taught, weeding out secrets and spotting human weaknesses at a glance, then using these observations to move their members into powerful positions. Occasionally this group does get exposed, one such event which made people at the time discover the society 
and their Machiavellian plans was an FBI raid. A story from 1942 describes an FBI raid on Japanese terrorists. These terrorists were said to be the Black Dragon. The government agents reported how members of this group were involved in many criminal exploits from extortion, prostitution, drugs and gambling. These vices used to bribe people in positions of power. The government labeled them a terrorist group, arrested and jailed them. But much like the fictional Marva group Hydra, cut off one head and two shall replace it. This arrest may have had the group once again returning to the dark to recuperate and regroup, but it did nothing to impact the Dragon Society as a whole. They had then and most certainly today infiltrated almost every country on earth. Today they occasionally emerge from the shadows in news stories, but just as quickly vanish. Do you think this group is still out there steering humanity to their own design? What other secret societies do you think operate and match the reach and influence of the Black Dragon? Would you like to join a secret society or are you already a member? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy what we do here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, like and share. You can find us across social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.